Hi guys, welcome to Date Night Live. That's Lucy. I'm Tommy. I'm Lucy. Wife. You're my husband. Husband. Together we host this show, Date Night Live, and happy Veterans Day. Happy Veterans shout Day. Out. Everybody, big, big shout out to, to the, the veterans. veterans. Cheers. Yesterday was Veterans Day. Yesterday, Yesterday was Veterans Day. Today the kids are off school and everyone is still... Uh, well, respecting, yes, celebrating yeah, Veterans today Day. Today they had school. Yesterday they were today off they're off. Today they had school. Yesterday they were, they were not off, off school. school today. They were off school yesterday. Yes. But they're back at school today. But happy Veterans happy Day. Happy Veterans and Day. We love our, our veterans here on Life of Dad. Shout out to all of our family members that are veterans and to all of your family members that yes. are veterans. And we want you to tell us right now who I you know. Which family life. members in your life, family, friends even. Um, who in your life that you love are veterans? Protect and serve our country, your yes. veterans. So we'll start our family shout outs right now as other ones start. Hey, Corey, what's up? What's up, as Corey? other people start typing them in. Um, yes. Lucy's dad, let's what's start up, with your Josh? dad. What's up, Josh? My dad, my dad. He's been on this show before. He's greatest, a Navy veteran? He is a um, Coast Guard. Coast Guard, From the okay. Korean War. Coast Guard. And then I have three brothers who are veterans. No. Yes, three brothers, Navy, Army, and Coast Guard. Um, I have a cousin who died in the Vietnam War. Um, My dad. Your dad. Merchant yep. Marines. Yeah. Um, he's a veteran. Uh, who else? Lots of family members. Yep. My grandfather, both of my grandfathers. Veterans, uh, yes. and we want to shout out the veterans in your family. So you guys yes. pop into the comments down there. Who in your family is a veteran? Lots of parents. Lots of parents are awesome country. It's looking like a lot. A lot, lot of, of the parents. parents. Oh, there was yeah. a question. Who in your family was? Okay. Yeah. Did you write yeah, the question? I didn't write the question. You wrote the question. <laughs> Which family member of yours has served in the military? And if yes. you and if you tell their name in the comments uh, and what branch of the service they were in. We'll give them a little special yes. shout out right now. Okay, so we've got Sarah O'Brien, her husband. Thank you, Sarah, Rock Mr. O'Brien. Ryan Kirkpatrick, dad. Andrew says, go Army. Mm -hmm. Army veteran Abdul, Iraq and Afghanistan. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your service. Grandpa served in World War II That's as Josh's fighter grandpa. pilot. Uh -huh. That's really cool, Josh. Um, my grandfather, my uncle, and my cousin, Crystal, says, right on. Daniel, thank you for your service. He mm -hmm. also served. Uh, Matt, myself, my brother, and all of our uncles and grandfathers, thank you for your service. Look awesome, at all these guys. veterans on awesome. here. Timothy, thank you. I'm a submarine veteran. That's really cool. Uh, dad, husband, Aaron, Julie Cook, my dad, my ex. Mm -hmm. Jeff, lots of dads out there. Life of dad, right? Much respect to all of your family members. Thank yes. you guys so much for sharing. Yes. Uh, Grandpa, RIP, Julius, a Marine, Sergeant. Um, yes. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so, so much for sharing. So many amazing veterans. Okay, so. And thank you so much to all of your family members for serving and to you, you yourselves that yes. have and served in the military. Happy Veterans Day to you all. And some of you kind of already gave this, so this is just kind of feeding into what many of you are already writing. Uh, Justin, Elizabeth, my father, my husband, Keep my grandfather. Protecting, yes. Protecting our, our country. Yes. Thank you for your service, Air Force. I, you know what? I feel bad because they only give us four sh um, What did we leave options. out? Oh, we left that Air Force. So I, that no, was, no, no. I put Air left? Force with Coast Guard. Oh, oh. So sorry I had to lump you guys together, um, Coast Guard and Air Force. I just ran out of options, and they only give four multiple choice options. But Army, look at all these Army veterans mm -hmm. coming out. Lots of Army. I mm -hmm. love it. My brother was an Army veteran. And then uh, with there lots of Marines. I, I currently, my godson is serving in Afghanistan right now as a Marine. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really amazing. So we are so grateful for you guys. I just want to give a special shout out to the veterans. And yeah. something that I have instilled, probably because I grew up surrounded by military uh, veterans and active um, military I always teach my kids if we ever see a 
somebody in uniform, whether it's a police officer, fireman, uh, military, we always uh, make a point to go up to them and say, thank you for keeping us safe because without you, we cannot do these silly, mindless videos mm -hmm. on Facebook like we're doing today. So And our kids have done a really good, a good job teaching them that. Yeah. Our kids have done a really good job. Whenever they see a cop or a firefighter yeah. or yeah, someone in the military, they always say thank you for keeping us safe. And, right. and it's a good time to shout out. Uh, there's a, in, in our area, we live in California, there's a lot of fires going on. So much love and uh, respect to all the cops and firefighters and everyone that's working uh, through those really, really yes. tough situations that Southern are still California ongoing. And Northern California. Mm -hmm. Southern, I mean, we're in Southern California, but uh, Northern California is hurting. We are hurting. It is a tough time to live in California right now. There are so many people we know very closely that have been, look at us sitting, we're like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been evacuated and um, we. we have not been evacuated. So many of our friends have been evacuated. And um, we are just oh, there praying you shout out up there, for yeah. all of you guys. Well, and this was kind of just a shout out. Yeah, and shout um, out to your family members that are cops and firefighters. First responders. Pop, pop their yep. names down below as well. We have a lot. Again, shout outs all day long. Again, in my family, I come from, I'm the youngest of 12. So we have a fireman. We have police officers. We have nurses, teachers. I mean, the, the jobs that make the world go round. Um, and so today's show is all about uh, prote protection. Protection they, and those safety. Those are the people that protect us and keep us safe. Yes. And, uh, oh, Johnny's uh, wife just, there's, there's yes. an amazing veteran right there. Amazing. Veteran's wife. Yes. 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 My, my cousin's Thanks like to high, high-ranking Johnny's Marine. a man. Yes. Yeah, so, um, so we have a sponsor for tonight's show. And speaking of protection. And safety. Uh, and safety. I always uh, teach my kids, thank you for keeping us safe. So we want you guys as families to be safe. And we have an awesome sponsor for... An amazing company called Saber. Yes. And Saber makes safety products for the family. I'll pop one of them up here right now, right here. This is a pepper gel. Yes. Saber. I, I enjoy the pink. It kind of matches gel. It kind of matches my shirt. It's, it's, it's nice, yeah. I enjoy it. I and gotta say, they, it's got a little keychain and everything. We're doing a bunch of really cool things with Saber throughout the month. We have a, a really fun video that's going to be out. We're filming it tomorrow, actually, and that's going to go live next week. Uh, we're not filming it. We're not involved in that. You, no. that. you would know by now. Okay. But the team Thanks. is the team is filming that. It's going to be super fun. And, uh, you know, they're our sponsor. And one thing I wanted to shout out right now, they are the number one recommended brand by police and military. Uh, Saber is the company. And the Pepper Gel if you need something like this for yourself or for your wife or for your child that's of age, maybe a teenage daughter or Keep someone that's going off to college, yeah. pepper gel, you can aim it. You run into a bad guy. You can yeah. aim it. And you don't have to worry about it spraying back at you. You're just going to hit your target with it. And, yeah. um, and, and, and Saber's the only company that makes a compact size one. So put it in your purse. Put it in your car. Keep it in your home. Keep your family safe. And we have What's the first up, Rosie? Yes, so we have a giveaway, you guys. So speaking of Saber, we're really honored to be working with them. I know it's not like super like Oprah's favorite things, but nothing is more important in life Protect than your keeping, family. I, I say every night when we pray with our kids, I say keep us safe, happy, and healthy. And right now, um, safety is a huge issue. I mean, there's crazy things happening out there in the world. So. Um, giving the gift of safety is very important. So mm -hmm. we want to give you guys a giveaway. And of, some cash, too. Yes. So we are giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. Spend it on whatever you want. Whatever you want. Holidays are around the corner, as well as a Saber um, holiday, you're not get, holiday. You're going to get some of their gear. And we're going to send you a little safety, safety kit. kit. So like this one right here, guys, it has a... Um, pepper spray, but then also this right here, it's a personal alarm. alarm. Yeah. So you put it on your keychain, and it's like it's like a whistle, only like 10,000 times louder, and you stay safe, and you give it to the people you love, um, especially here on Life of Dad. You know, mm -hmm. you guys give tend to your be, wife, give you're, it to you're your daughter protectors. that's going off to school, protect so, them. All yeah. right, so the giveaway, how does it work? 
Okay. The game went so, cash and they can win the thing. <laughs> are you saying, Lucy, land the plane? <laughs> land stop, the let's plane. Let's stop talking about it. Stop let's talking. Start doing it. Okay, so go to the comments in this main video. The copy. Um, copy, sorry, the caption. And there is a link on there. Uh, it is saber, uh, com yep. backslash date night. If you click on that link, the first person that can tell us the featured logo or tagline is going to win a $25 gift card to yeah, Amazon. Yeah, 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 money. As well as a Sabre personal, personal safety, safety kit. kit, which will keep your people safe. So let's see. All right, someone's going to pop it in. Uh, and by the way, great uh, stocking gift. Buy these, stuff them in a stocking of someone that you love and want to protect. Oh, RC. We got a winner. No, RC says, I have them for my wife and daughter. Best on the market. That's I right. love that. I you love got, hearing that. We've got RC stamp of approval. RC, man. Yeah. Yes. Hi, Barbara. Hi, big, Amy. Big shout out to National Guard, too. I did not mean to leave you guys out. My niece just graduated from National Guard boot camp. So, big, big shout out Huge. to National Guard. So sorry. I did Loud not include that. Shout them. out. Shout yes. out, National Guard. Um, yes. Okay, we have our first winner. We have a winner. Yes, Justin Holtley. All right. Give the gift of safety this holiday. We've got a winner. That's the that's the Justin, tagline. you are correct. I will be private messaging you to get your email to send you your gift card as well as um, your safety kit. So thank you so much. We have another give uh, giveaway coming up later in the show. So definitely. Continue to stay tuned. I don't know why I keep moving. Like I'm, I oh, keep, you're fine. I you're keep fine. moving away you're fine. from you. You're gorgeous. You're I right. swear oh, I like him. Guys. I like him, guys. Today, this week, <laughs> in All this right. moment. So we're on to our, our our user our user our our, our fan questions. So everyone, uh, we're gonna start popping questions in there, and we want you start uh, to answer the questions down in the comments below. You can vote as you see there on the on the phone. What do you guys? This yes. is still new polling tools that Facebook yes. has, which are working pretty well. So thank you guys for playing along and punching in your answers. All right. Well, the full question is, where it is, what are what? some ways you keep your family safe? Um, we have, I know, uh, a couple of my kids get scared about different things. And yeah. one we of have my anxiety. main jobs is to, I have anxiety issues. One of our kids has anxiety issues. One of my so. main jobs is to be their, be their protector, He's be their dad. Protector. I'm, the, I'm the rock. So uh, we have to uh, we have to take care of them. So what are the ways that you keep your family safe? And you can so alarm system, dogs, security cameras, other described. Let me tell you, we have all of the above. We have an alarm system. We have dog. Maybe dogs plural. If Tom lets me get the Saint Bernard puppy, I really oh, uh, not a good time to really go into negotiations <laughs> here because we would start feeling pressure from the people. So if the you, people, the people don't if think you we should think get the Saint Bernard. Tom should get me a Saint Bernard puppy. My friend is having Saint we, Bernard puppies in like a week. We 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 get that thing Just, within a week. All right. No no no. In the beginning of the year. In the beginning they, of the year. Oh, they, they feed off. Yeah. They feed off the mama. Yeah. Okay. For I the see. first six yeah. weeks. So. We'd be all good. So what do you do to keep your family safe? Drop yep. your answers into the comments, answer in the poll there, and answer in the comments as well. Yes. How do you keep your family so, safe? you know, and we're not going to get too far into it, but a lot of people are bringing up um, that they have um, their firearms that are locked safely away, that plus mm -hmm. their dog. Um, Safety. Everybody kind of has different, get the woman a puppy, says Josh. Josh. I'm with you, Josh. Get Who's that this? one. I, I know Josh kind of. Davis Williamson. I don't know who you Get are. You should one. not yes. be telling me what to do, Davis. <laughs> so we have an amazing black lab, and she is the best, most protective dog ever. But I grew up with St. Bernard's, and my friend is breeding her male and female right now. So I am like, I'm like, can I at least the foster them, like, until they go to their owners? Monthly, Tim says, monthly safety updates, like meeting places in the event of a tragedy. I love Everyone that. Everyone will meet at grandma's or somewhere close to there. Um, I love that. Especially now with the fires, Tim, I find that, like, when we had to evacuate, the idea of, like, where to go, what direction. Like, we know people all over, but, like, what's the plan? And um, that's a really, really smart tip and tool to do. Mm -hmm. To keep the family safe. We got so hi, Brandy. Uh, so alarms, baseball bats, cameras. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, that is user question 
Uh, number three. All right, we're going to move on from there. And it looks like other was the most common one on that one. Yes. All right. I do all of the above. Buddy. Carrying on. And here's another tip I'm going to give you guys. Now, if you have one of these personal safety keys, you can use this. But um, before I had one of these Sabre personal alarm key, uh, key sets, um, when Tom would go out of town, I read somewhere and I thought it was so smart. They put their car keys right next to their bed in the nightstand. So if you hear something going on outside that's a little suspicious and makes you uneasy, you set your car alarm off so that mm -hmm. the alarm kind of sounds to your neighbors and people around you to alert them that something's going on. Yeah. And I thought that was so smart. So whenever he goes out of town, which isn't that often, but when he does, I make a point to put our car keys in our alarm. Oh, right there, yeah. But now I have this, so I'll have this on my car keychain. Make some noise with it. All right. Yes. If your kid is heading off to college, yes. where's the rest of the... I uh, saw my sister Barbara's on. She's got a college-age kid. How do you keep them safe? If your how kid's do you keep going to safe? college, what are, you, uh, what are you doing? And if your answer is other, drop it in the comments down there, too. Pepper yes. spray or gel, personal alarm, whistle. Door jam, special locks, or other. <laughs> Tell us other. Barbara says a St. Bernard is a puppy for a, a day. You remember that? <laughs> oh, they're gentle giants. Okay, we're going to just talk about St. Bernard's throughout the whole show. No. Um, we do fire escape drills. That's great. Um, let's see. For home safety, you're better off having a taser in the house. Um, in the off chance a family member walks in the door. Pray, yep, all of that karate. I was thinking about that too, it's just kind of a self-defense class, like my kids are nowhere near going to college, but I feel like I'm such a paranoid, anxious person that I will like get them into CPR classes, karate self-defense classes, along with the pepper gel and everything. And one cool thing, um, and again, this is sponsored, but I, I have to say as a mom, as a female who doesn't like to kind of leave my house when the, you know, when the street lights or when the sun goes down, um, Sabre has these arm straps and bike straps so you can, you know, if you're a runner, if you're a walker, you kind of have it as like a, a wrist strap so that you can like run freely and know you're kind of protected. So that's great. And the door jam is so great. It has a little jam that if you open it, an alarm goes off. So instead of installing this big fancy alarm, if you have a kid in a dorm room or an apartment, they just stick the door jam on. But I want that for every one of our entries, mm -hmm. is those little door jam alarms. Yeah. I think yeah. they're so smart. I like, I like. Yep. <laughs> um, cool. All right. Well, the pepper spray gel is the winner of that one. Look at that. Good job, everyone. Way to, way to answer. Yes. Thanks for playing along. All right. So this, we're going into, this is a good, good idea, bad idea. So give it a little vote, but then also, um, it's kind of going off of our give some last. info in the comments as well. Good idea or bad idea. Keeping pepper spray in your car's glove compartment. What do you guys think? Good yes. idea or bad idea? RC also said kind of going off of what I was saying with the car alarm by my nightstand. He said also yell fire. Car alarms go off all the time, but when you yell fire, people look, which is so true. If you yell help, especially in like places, like city places, people just lock their doors. But if you yell fire, people kind of pay attention, I feel like. Yeah. Um, so good. that's a that's a great good idea. safety tips, guys. Um, yes. So thanks to Saber, I will definitely be keeping some pepper gel, mm -hmm. pepper spray, up in my cars and purses and all that good stuff, uh, especially those little personal alarm keychains too. As I get all the updates on the fires all around us, like every hour, I'm getting active updates from the city uh, for the California fires. Tim Reed, great. I love Tim's insight. He has great insight. He said, I told my kids to be aware of their surroundings. If you have a bad feeling about a situation, don't ignore it. Hide in your senses. Yes. Is aware of your surroundings, says Joseph. Best defense. Mindful of who you keep around you, especially in college. Yep. 
Awesome. Well, yeah, and I feel like in college, I ne I didn't make the greatest decisions, but I did have a gut instinct. Like I did feel like when something didn't seem right, or there was a creeper, or you know, I felt like I wasn't safe. There was that kind of like me and my girlfriends. We always stayed together. So. All right, next yes. one. Good di good idea or bad idea? Placing a door jam in your kid's dorm or apartment. Door jam. So that's a, like that's the thing that we have loose. Door jam is the little thing that goes up against the door. Well, that's one of them, but um, I don't think we have one here. Oh, then. But okay. it's a little. Um, it's a little like it almost looks like a door oh, this is, okay. stopper. I mean, a it's a door stopper. It's like the shape, like a triangle, and you shove it under. And if somebody opens it. Gotcha. An alarm goes off, which is such a good idea. But also, we have the pulled door jams, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, those are great. And, yeah, really, anything that will kind of keep ease your mind. You know, college dorms and college apartments. I mean, we got robbed. I have lived in London, in Chicago, L.A. You know where I got robbed? In Indiana, in a podunk town in Indiana, in my college town, because... You, you never know where you're safe. So um, in college, I feel like we're kind of targets. College kids are. So. Um, okay, cool. So am I, this, this one, stop and stop for, is that the question we're doing now? Or, um, or is that, am which, I clicking on the wrong thing? Um, let's see. Is um, that where you want to go? It's different from here. Yeah, oh, let's right. see. Uh, no, I think it's, we're down here. Daylight savings. Daylight savings. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, All right, guys. Moving on to our trivia section. We're going to do some fun trivia for all you guys right now. Daylight right. savings trivia. So we just have one extra. Okay. Yes. Okay. So another thing that happened over the past week is daylight savings. Ooh. I don't know if you live somewhere that um, Not good. does daylight savings. P.S. Someone asked if your haircut was the Zoolander haircut. You guys, I just told him today, I said, when your hair on the side starts getting as long as your hair up top. I feel like they're mocking me. <laughs> but I don't care. I got to see the Zoolander haircut again. The I've got to take, take a look at it. It's amazing. I love that someone said that. I thought it that is, was so funny. It is. Uh, <laughs> it is thank you. When, That's amazing. Uh, when people... Compliment. Yes. I say thank you. Yes. Uh, it wasn't a compliment. Um, what? All right. We're so daylight savings time. Um, it's always rough in our house. Um, it doesn't Sweet. affect you that much, but the kids wake up at five a.m. every day. Did now. you? Did everybody <laughs> catch that jab? He shushed me Whoa. last week. He shushed me last week, and but he the just. The kids wake up what? at five a.m. now, so so totally I spend time. You just totally threw shade at me. Well, you you still wake up you're, at the same time. You're not affected get, by this. You're yeah, not. Yeah. You um, they wake up at like five, so I have Keep a digging, couple Tom. extra hours Keep with digging. them. You're digging. Before we start getting ready for school, so they all wake up early. They go to sleep early, and they and they wake up early. Well, that's tonight they went to sleep around eight, so I guess they're back to kind of a normal schedule now. Um, but the question is, what war pushed daylight savings time uh, into law, but then ceased after the war ended? And we're going to go to the results right here, unless we have other ones coming in. All right. Amy says, daylight savings is totally ruined by children. Agreed, Amy. Agreed. And. Correct answer is World War One. World War One. Now. Winners. They, they changed it so that everybody was on the same time. Um, but then they changed it back. And then reinst reinstated it in 1974. Sorry, guys. Some of my trivia is not always perfect. That's right. But then they reinstated daylight savings time in 1974 um, to save what? Money, energy, water. I mean, I guess you could argue money, save energy, money. I, whenever they talk about it, I hear that it's about the farmers. So I hear daylight savings time is about the farmers. So that would be saving energy. They need less lights on in the morning. I'm going with energy. They need less lights to do their job. <laughs> I'm going with energy. 
Tim Reed, I liked all your comments until just now. He said, if you want to shush your wife, hand her a glass of wine. There you go. <laughs> There's a lot of truth in that, Tim. There you um, go, Tim. Save energy. <laughs> that was my guess. I did not write the question. Save energy. It's okay. all about the farmers. Josh so said energy. Farmers. Florida is trying to go on daylight savings year round. California had a vote. That was one right. of the things to put it on the ballot, a proposition to put it on the ballot to get rid of it. Arizona, our neighboring state, does not have daylight savings time. Tom! And that's cool. What? That was one of my that's questions. Question. Yes. All right, so there's the answer. I am just full of knowledge and giving away answers. Arizona does not have daylight savings time, so get ready for that a little bit later. You <laughs> can get see. that one right. Let's see who's listening. You can get listening. that one right. <gasps> Save uh, energy. All right. Okay, the correct answer is energy. Yes, yes. You guys are smart. You're on it. You're smart. All, right, All the way to the here. top. Publish results. Yep. Oh, to the comments? It shows the comments here? No comments. Maybe not. No. Okay. Um, all right. This one? Yeah. Well, yeah, but. Okay. Here's our next question. You guys. And it's the one that I just gave away. If you have that memory. Let's see who has the their volume on. Step it up. Some people might be watching with no volume, but um, what U.S. Tom state just gave away this does answer? Does not do daylight savings time. Let us know. Whoa, a hundred percent going for Arizona. Yes, yes, and yes. See what happens. I write all the questions. I do all the producing oh, of these shows. In Illinois, I know all the answers. Um, yes, the correct answer is Arizona. Hawaii as well. Hawaii does not do daylight savings. It's my Zoolander. I'm so hot right now. Um, all right, Arizona is our winner. All right, cool. Okay. Oh, no, not that one. Daylight savings time. Trivia continues. Next one is yes. Chappelle. A law. This, this is also easy. Extending daylight savings time into November finally went into effect in 2007 so that what holiday was not affected? A law. I, I'm with you, Amy. Amy says she used to live in Arizona. It was wonderful. Just that they, I mean, finally when I get my kids like on a pattern, I feel like we do not have the most structured sleeping schedule it's kind of a bit of a musical bed where one starts here, then they move around and here. And I would just like to say that right as we get hit a stride, daylight savings, and then it just kind of screws mm -hmm. everything. Messes, messes with us. Yeah. One of us. Oh! Do you see this? Do you see this? Anyway, okay. the hair, you, oh, the hair one comments. Hour, you're one hour a day the with your comments. children. Oh, oh that's, that's not the truth. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, the correct answer is Halloween. They extended it so that trick-or-treaters, um, it didn't get dark too early. So the, the little, little trick-or-treaters had more time to trick-or-treat. So in 2007, they extended it to be after... Halloween. Okay. 2007 to that, huh? Yeah, remember that. I remember that. Okay, one study published in 2015. Mm -hmm. Hold on, you took my question away. Daily incidents of what dropped by 7% following the start of daylight savings in the spring? So once it started to get lighter in the evening, what dropped by 7%? Robberies, car accidents, hit and runs. Mm hmm. Let me read that one again. One study published in 2015. Daily incidents. <laughs> Amy, of, I feel you, girl. I what? feel you. <laughs> Dropped by 7% following the start of daylight savings time in the spring. It's very obvious. Tom creates all these questions. I'm trying to wink. Daily incidents. Not a good winker. <laughs> so lights went. It got. When it gets lighter for longer. In the spring, it's lighter earlier, right? So right. the spring is oh, that's the answer lighter. right there. Oh, I could yeah. just say the answer. Okay. You know the answer. Right? Well, don't yeah. say the answer. There, I didn't realize all the answers are written right there. He has them all written out, folks. So robberies. All right. Let's think through this for a second. So robberies, 
slow down in the spring because yes, it's late, because it gets out. lighter yeah. earlier. More daylight so, time. Yeah. so if you make sure. so if you flip it, there's seven percent more robberies is the correct answer mm -hmm. in the fall and the winter because it's darker earlier. So by five p.m. it's totally dark, but people aren't home from work yet. So it increases. Yeah. So yeah. stay safe out there, guys. Use, you like it when it's lighter, longer. I like it that's when your, it's lighter because here's the thing: like we, I I grew up in a town in Chicago where every other house had street lights, right? And then I come out here, and the streets are so dark. And I mean, luckily we have a street light across the street from us, but a lot of these blocks don't. So it gets really dark. I personally don't feel comfortable walking or running. I don't run. If I ran, but I don't run. But I walk. And if I walked, I wouldn't feel comfortable going out early in the morning or late at night. And we live in a pretty safe neighborhood. Mm -hmm. So hearing that makes a lot of sense. But it's kind of this idea and I know I brought it up earlier but like if you are a runner if like you live for running and you don't want fear to like take over your life um you know grab one of these pepper gels and arm armbands and say you're a bicyclist you can strap it onto one of your bikes and I think it's it keeps you really safe so I think it's time for another giveaway let's do a giveaway we're doing a giveaway and then we're gonna go into our fast-paced fun questions after that so Giveaway, how does it work, Luce? Are you saying my questions that I wrote are not fun? You did a great job. Giveaway, and then we go on to some fun questions. I, I... You're doing an awesome job. Don't overthink it. How does the giveaway work? Yeah, that's fine. Um, how does the giveaway you work? You tell me. Talk okay, we're me. doing another giveaway, guys. Okay, so go to the link in our comments. And the first person to give us the price of the personal safety kit. If you click on that link, scroll down just a wee bit, just like a little like quarter of a page, what is the price of the safety kit, the personal safety kit, and the first person to answer will win a $25, $25 gift, card. gift card to Amazon, and as well as a, a Sabre personal safety kit safety from kit. Sabre. Um, as yes. you guys are doing again, this is the one that they are shouting out to today. I that's, love it. That's the one. And uh, pepper gel. I like the pink, guys. Pepper Look at how gel. cute the pink is. It matches my... And they come with, like, they have arm straps and they have door... It's just, it's great. And, like, something like this. Here's the personal safety kit, guys. So it comes with the loud alarm thing and the pepper spray. So it's like a dual thing. And you can get it in cute colors like pink and blue. There's even like one that looks like a lipstick, but it's really a pepper spray. We're still looking for the. Oh, Josh is our winner. Nineteen ninety-nine. Josh. Josh is the first one that came through. So the correct answer win, is win, 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 win. Nineteen ninety-nine for the personal safety kit. Josh, you are our winner tonight. Oh, Rosie, by a sliver. Josh got you. Um, so Josh, I'll, I already have your email from a previous win. He wins he's again. a rock star. Um, so congrats. And definitely keep these in mind, you guys. You know what else, before we go on to that, Tom? Mm -hmm. I just want to say, you know what makes Talk to me. a fantastic what does? stocking stuffer? Tell us. Speak it, Luce. I'm trying to. I'm trying to hit oh, publish. Nice. So it might be unconventional. But if you have a teen or a young adult or a, a wife or a, somebody in your life you want to protect, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what makes for a fantastic stocking stuffer? Obviously, I'm not going to give it to my six-year-old. But if I had an 18-year-old, um, pepper gel, personal alarm keychain, or a door jam. We don't have the door jam here, but that's one of these little slivers goes under a door and an alarm goes off. I like you are my people, all of the above. All of the above. We and like Sabre safety. has all of them. Yeah, they do. Um, so kind of going off of that, and I think my sister Barbara's still on. Because I thought of you when I wrote this next question, Barb. Um, 
I'm with all of you guys. Everybody is saying all of the above. Personal safety alarm is getting, alarm keychain is getting a lot of uh, traction as well. Uh, what is an unconventional holiday gift that you have received? What are some, mm -hmm. uh, wait, I swear. What is my official, I'm like trying to. That one ended up up there. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's the last, this last what, one. What are some unconventional gifts that you have received that have actually worked and been pretty like functional and helpful in your life? Mm -hmm. um, pressure gauge. See, I never use it. I my use dad, that more, huh? my dad gave me a tire pressure gauge. Mm -hmm. Hubcaps. My dad mm -hmm. gave my sister hubcaps. Mm -hmm. Because, Emergency. yep. Emergency kit. My parents give us all types of, we have we have every, we have everything we would ever need. We have, uh, we have emergency food for two months. We have a generator. generator. We have um, water. Large gallons. More than we're gallons. ready for the zombie apocalypse. We are ready. Uh, Come and visit us at the zombie apocalypse. We got you. Apocalypse. Apocalypse. Okay. Um, and drop into the comments. What are some Sorry. unconventional gifts that you have gotten? What's the most unconventional holiday gift that you have gotten? Uh, Shout it out. My down mom there. always put tire gauges in men's stockings. Flashlights. Tim Reed's always come in handy. Flashlights are so great. My son wants to have a natural disaster birthday party. He's it's obsessed happening. with it's being planned. tornadoes, hurricanes, tsunamis. You're, you're planning. I am planning it. But for the goodie bags, I'm giving away emergency kits. So I have. I'm going to give away little mini mini um, flashlights. Little mini compasses. Nice. Like a water bottle and things like that. So um, it isn't that cute? Yeah, I thought that awesome. was cute. That's awesome. Um, generator and shop vac. Yes. Yes and yes. Rosie got a tire. Closet. Rosie, thanks for hanging out with us again. What? Do you know Rosie? Rosie? Rosie's awesome. I, I love know. Rosie. Once I got a closet door, that was awesome. So <laughs> says Amy. Amy. Uh, yes. Um, sorry guys, I just got quiet for a minute. Oh, you're fine. Um, yes. No, my dad, he always got us, um, oh, Rosie's asking for a dryer this year. That's a good, a dryer. good, unconventional, practical gift though. It's good guys that you got to keep them safe. All right. Okay, here we so go. here goes Tommy. We're going on to these questions from the games that we have. This one's from the game Hot Seat. Um, drop your answers into the comments. Which TV character is an accurate representation of your life? Which TV character is an accurate representation of your life? Tell us in there. There's, I've heard a lot about the show on, is it on Showtime or HBO? It's about a warm-up, guys. A lot of people tell me I have to watch that. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. It is? Yeah. It's got, there's a show about a guy that does audience warm-up, and that is my career. So I would say, even though I haven't seen it yet, um, that role may represent my life, my, my life, my, my life well. Ron Swanson, that's from Community, I think. Rife. Ron, Ron Swanson. Rife? Yeah, my Rife, yeah. <laughs> um, which, which TV character accurately represents your life? Who is the person and why? Tell us in the comments below. Lucy. Um, Would it be Lucy? So we've got. Oh. Light went down. Burnt bulb. It's all right. The lighting's still okay. And we're back. I just the said. The fancy lighting is back. Which TV character is um, an accurate representation Ron of your Swanson. life? Ron Swanson. Who's Ron Swanson? I think, I think Ron Swanson is from uh, Community, the TV show. Rosie says Eric Foreman from The 70s Show. Uh, Amy Parks says Katie Otter from American Housewife. Ron just Swanson's. Off. Oh, yeah. Parks and Rec. Um. I don't know why, but I would say there's a new Netflix show called The Letdown. And mind you, is that this the one is... one you just started last night? No, that's Homecoming. Okay. That's good. But there's a new show on Netflix called The Letdown, and it's all, like, super postpartum, so, like, the mom's a new mom. So even though I'm not a new mom, the most relatable character ever in the history of ever of moms it's raw it's hilarious 
There's nothing glamorous about it, but it's like funny and you're laughing and crying and laughing and crying. So um, the character from The Letdown, I would say. Watch it, moms. If, if there's any moms out there, go on Netflix and watch The Letdown. Okay. They are not paying me to say this, but it will make you feel so much better and less alone. All right, so more of the comments. Josh is saying Dan from Roseanne. Nice. Um, Fred Ernest P. Denise says Abby from NCIS. Nice. And Squidward. <laughs> Rosie says Squidward. Oh, from American Spongebob. Housewives, Luce. There you go. American. Is that, is no. That, is that that's, the same as Real no, Housewives? That's no. Real Housewives. Trust me, you don't what want me it? to be any of the real housewives. No, but what is American Housewife? That's what I Katie don't know. said. I've never, Amy said. I've never seen American Housewife. All right. Next question. What are you looking forward to? This is a uh, this is a very open question. It can be anything at all. Oh, I wanted this to be our last question of the oh. show. I wanted it to be the last question because I thought we could all end on like, we're looking forward to Thanksgiving and being with families and being together. And I had it in order, and you just totally... I, I messed it up. Why but, do you... So we'll do this one now. Well, we're going to do more questions, too. He ruins everything, guys. Ruins everything. What are you looking tilt forward it, to? Tilt it that way. What are you looking forward to? Uh, but to go along with your theme, I would say Thanksgiving. I would say Christmas is coming up, so that was the sweetest moment we've had all day. <laughs> and you guys all got to be here for it. It's not real well, life. We're we so, don't have those, like, we're so close. We don't have those moments all the time. You're Thank like you for in that. My, you're in my grill. I, I mean, I don't know. It was good. Yeah. Okay. What Spring. Do you, I, I just we're, sprayed. We are holiday. Um, I love Christmas. So definitely. We are holiday people. So the our Christmas tree is going to be on up very soon. Right? Yes. We can have one over here. Uh, we can feature it on the show, right? Let me tell you something. Our Christmas Nothing's tree. Nothing's going up anywhere until we, like, purge half of this house okay what are you spring, looking forward to everyone spring american housewife on abc i'm looking forward to christmas and christmas music answer and... in the comments everyone yes um amy says okay oh okay american housewife is on abc i will have to check this out for sure um not too many people are looking forward to things so that's right you move yeah on? we'll go on to the next one Maybe they're saving it for the end of the show. Yeah, maybe they you know wanted maybe they wanted it at the end of the show, like I hey produced it for. Um, going deer hunting, starting in college now. in January after 18 years. Andrew, that's amazing. Go, Andrew. This I'm is looking again, forward Andrew to learning one. more about my new position. Just got a promotion. Congrats nice. to me. Tim, good for you. Uh, Justin says it's staying late until 10 p.m. again. Staying late. Where, light. where does he light. live? Yeah, light, light. Yeah, that's what I meant. Where do you live, Justin? Where it's late till 10 maybe, p.m.? Maybe Australia? Is that near uh, Iceland? Perhaps? I feel Looking like in the winter months, light. they have less light. They do. But in the summer, they have like crazy light, right? Yeah, but it's not the summer. So he's looking forward to it. Uh, Justin, where are you from? I need to know. Yes. Looking forward to seeing, seeing my, my three-month-old three -month son, son grow and his oh, personality. Oh, that's really cute. You don't Congrats. want it to go too fast, though. Congrats, Our youngest... Davis. Enjoy that. The, oh, I love the baby stage. Oh, Amy I'm looking is saying... forward to him getting home. <laughs> Amy, girl, I feel you on that. Looking forward to who getting home? Her husband's her... out of town. Oh, okay. I know what that feels like. Oh, oh hey. he's from Michigan. Okay, so not till spring. Okay. Uh, summer. Yes. Looking I am not looking summer. forward to summer. I gotta we, get through Yeah, hot. well, in California, summer gets a little old and, yeah, but you it's know. Not, it's just getting cold there, I feel like. But, yes. Right. No, we're, we're spoiled Michigan here. in, the summer in Michigan is pretty much the greatest ever. Like, I grew up in Chicago, but little, all my friends. Is it a little too muggy or no? It's comfortable. Muggy? Tent. Oh, no. no. It's all the lakes and it's the best. You're drinking in cornfields. It's awesome. All right. What are you ashamed of being good at? I am ashamed of being an expert at everything Real Housewives. I could literally tell you every housewife's name, their children's name, what city they're on, what business they're selling. It is it, it has consumed so much of my brain 
I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of it. You're ashamed of that? Yeah. yeah. It consumes a lot of my life, but yes. You, you've, you've, you've calmed down. You've, 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 you've come back to earth a little bit from it, I would Jersey, say. Jersey is starting. No, I know, but you've, you've calmed yeah. down a little bit. Well, because now I'm busy. Um, thanks, Tim Reed. Shout out, Life Dad Beer. I love that you or Josh bring it up every week. Cheers. You gotta do it. We gotta make it. That's the one. That's Please what we gotta do. Please continue to bring it up to keep him accountable because this is his dream and he keeps putting it off, putting find, it off. We gotta find a brewery. We need the right partner to help us make beer, but any we, shall, beer, we shall make beer. Any beer distributors out there that want to make Life of Dad Beer with Tom, contact him. Mm-hmm. And Life of Mom Wine. <laughs> um, what I'm, I'm ashamed, I can't really say dancing for this one, right, Luz? I'm ashamed of being binge watching The Office since it hit Netflix. The Office is funny, though. It's a great show. Don't be ashamed of that. Davis says, I'm a Marine. I'm not ashamed of being good at pretty much anything. Right on, right on. Thank you for your service, Davis. I know every lyric from every Katy Perry song ever written says, Amy Schaefer, you know what I'm like? trying to memorize is swish swish but the Nicki Minaj version of it Amy so it's swish um, swish fish pink paragama slide is on deck silly rap beats just give me more checks my life is a movie I'm never offset me and my me goes no offset swish swish uh, I got them upset like I'm yeah I'm ashamed of that too <laughs> I can't say dancing. You guys have to watch Ellen that oh. aired today. The Ellen show that aired today. She started a thing called the Dad Dab Challenge based on my horrible dab. Uh, I messed it up again. You did. It, it, no, you kept one hand down. You kept one hand down. No, I know. I'm trying to do the right one now. Oh, you're trying to do it right? Yeah. But anyway, I messed it up. I messed it up bad, guys. I'm still... still Oh, it's like a, yeah. Yeah, you It was the worst. Down. But anyway, now she's doing the dad dab challenge and uh, showing other dads <laughs> that are pretty bad at it too. So that cannot be my answer to this question because no. I'm not good at dancing. I'm ashamed of being so bad at it. Um, okay, wait. So we got some um, drinking beer, says Rosie. Women's fashion. Justin, it's okay. Don't be ashamed. Mm -hmm. We have great fashion. Um, we. Oh, we woke up to snow today, said Justin. I love it. You know what, though? There's not, like, being from Chicago and living in Southern California, I feel like I can't get through the holidays without going to Chicago and experience a little snow. Yes, you are my spirit animal. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Ashamed. Okay, I'm ashamed of being good at trying to bring more awareness to PTSD and veterans. Rock on, Denise. That is You're not awesome. something to be ashamed of at all. You that is, not be ashamed she of is that. a veteran's wife. Denise, keep that platform going. That is so important. Very, very, very. Yes, good. Okay, she said, I'm not ashamed of it. Good. We, um, our oldest daughter is, so I don't block you. Our right, oldest on. daughter is a, um, she was born with a congenital heart defect, CHD. So Tom and I are big advocates in the CHD world. So um, that is our platform to bring in awareness. So good for you to bring that awareness. Yeah, you are awesome. It's so important, especially on veterans mm -hmm. right after Timely. Veterans Day. Yeah. Timely, Denise, you're amazing. All right, our next question. I would be really uncomfortable if I were forced to attend a what convention? So I would definitely go with feelings. If I had to go to like a feelings convention where do they have those? That'd be horrible. Where people go and like talk to like counselors and I would talk be about feelings. So and good at that. Talk about why did you marry me? Deep conversations. I, I would be such very, a very feely person. Why? Uncomfortable being at that convention. Why did you marry me? We balance each other out well because I don't have you enough have, of that. You, you have, have a little bit too much, and we we we. We we balance each other out, you right? You have zero feelings. I have zero. I have no feelings. And I have I don't, too much feelings. I don't have feelings, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Not that ashamed. I, I'm not ashamed that I have feelings. I mean, slightly ashamed. No, no, zero no. Zero feelings. And I would be, if they have feelings <laughs> conferences, that would be a horrible thing. Do they have them? Nathan said, I'm with you on the feelings convention. Yeah, man. Nathan, we're, well, there's got to be a pub right across the street, right? So, if Nathan, if we ever get forced to go by our 
beautiful brides. <laughs> um, I'll meet you at that that pub. It's called Dave's. It's right across the street from yes. the convention. That's what we'll get. We'll get a cold one. Denise. Or six. Shout out to Heart Mom, fellow Heart Mom Denise. She also has a daughter with a heart defect as well. I mean, it's pretty common. It's one in 100, yet it's not nearly as spoken about as often as, you know, other types of, you know, issues or illnesses. So definitely bringing awareness to that is so important. Mm -hmm. Our daughter I'd be uncomfortable is awesome. attending a nudist event. I was going to say I'd be uncomfortable attending like a vegan event. Vegan event? Yeah, I know. I know a lot of vegans. You I, just love, you love eating I meat that much? I feel like I would be like, where can I get a cheeseburger and steak? I'm I'm steak and potatoes. I grew up in Chicago. It's my thing. Um, no no hate to the vegans, no, but no hate. like walking around, if I was like, like tofu and I don't get along. Yeah, tofu's a little weird. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, so Nathan couldn't go to spandex <laughs> convention. Um, uh, Josh, thanks for saying our daughter is awesome. She is. And uh, nudist, we, we read that one. Uh, the White Sox convention. Tim, 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 Tim says feelings. What are those? Tim, I'm with you, and I don't, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, Nathan, Nathan, is, a, is, a, is are, are dig you, are these, at my wife. Are these fighting words? Keep Nathan? it going, Nate. Are, they, are you a Cubs fan, Nathan? Nathan would be uncomfortable going to a White Sox convention. <laughs> oh, Andrew man. Andrew says a Packers convention. Oh, he must I'll be a Bears fan. Packers. He must be a Bears fan. What type of convention would you feel super uncomfortable going to? Drop your yes. answer. And, and no shot to vegans. Suzanne is Shots saying there fired. are so many amazing vegan dishes. There are, and you know what? Dig it yourself deeper in that hole. No, I'm not digging. I am giving You're, mad shout out. I need to be healthier. I need to work out more and eat healthier. So I am just telling you what I would be uncomfortable in this moment. I actually think people who are vegan tend to be some of the healthiest people I know. So good on you. I uh, think it's amazing. By the way, Rosie just won by saying a Wi-Fi free convention. Ooh. So that would be, do those things exist? Well, that would include a lot of feelings because you'd have oh. no Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. It's horrible. So me and my buddy. To, you'd have Nate. to talk to me. You, like if we went to the convention and there was yeah. no Wi-Fi, oh, yeah. okay. you'd have to like look at Let's me. Let's spend $1,000 so we can not check our phones and talk to each other. And spend a thousand dollars and do that in a conference room, and then have people like moderating us. You would love and telling it. us. You guys, can I just tell you, this guy is a scam artist because when we met and started dating, we talked and talked and talked and talked. We didn't even put a TV show on for like two or three months because we had so much to talk about. So much to talk about. You were you talked. It wasn't just yeah, me. but the problem is now. Now like, it's I like, gotta, he's like, I'm done. The kids are up Don't by like 5 or 6 a.m., so I'm asleep by like 10. <laughs> and um, I, any, you bring any topic up to me after 9, I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> so it's going to happen again tonight. Um, all right, let me find a couple more questions. See what, let me get see a what marriage you do does. This question. Let me, let me what, find a few more. What are we doing? We're going to find more questions. Uh, well, keep it's 9. We got to keep on going. Where uh, you do that one? Oh, okay. He's so bossy. Um, okay. What's something my parents did when I was growing up that I didn't realize was weird until years later? So my dad used to work two jobs because there were 12 kids. And on Thursdays, he had um, Thursday nights off. And he would bring home cartons of chocolate milk because he had 12 kids. and. Um, they were expired, <laughs> so they couldn't sell them at the hospital or the school that he worked at. So he worked at the hospital at night. He worked at the school during the day, but it was only expired by like a day or so. So he'd come home with cartons of chocolate milk that they couldn't sell at the school or the hospital anymore. But us kids, we froze that. We acted like it was a chocolate uh, uh, smoothie. We like chopped it up once it got icy. It was like the greatest thing ever. Um, 
Right? Denise, thank you. Denise said, my husband was the same way. Now he's silent. Right? Like, I bring up, like, anything remotely, like, like, let's talk about that. He's like, uh, I gotta go to bed. Um, <laughs> the, everything has been said, but the love is still there. Uh, th that is somewhat true, Josh. That is somewhat true. Um, yes. Yeah, so my dad used to give us expired milk cartons, uh, milk container, little, the little milk things. Well, we, we called milk milk. So that was we, weird. We called milk milk. We called milk milk milk. I say milk. Yeah, that's, I still that's wrong. say milk. So that was something wrong we did. Uh, not not that it's wrong, but we said that wrong. Um, I didn't know the word. I thought it was draw, not drawer. And um, you saw you thought it was draw. Draw. <laughs> yeah, you get some clothes out of the draw. <laughs> well, his his mom was from Boston, which I love. I love a Boston accent. I love an East Coast accent. Yes, you got to tune into why. Look at you, Rosie. Mm. Rosie is giving me a massive shout out to Denise. You got to tune into Wine Wednesdays. Let me tell you, I'm going to do a little self promotion. I have a little site called Life of Mom for all of you. And um, on Wednesday nights, I do one o'clock Wednesday trivia. And I go live and we talk trivia and I sip wine in my laundry room. Well, Tom puts the kids to bed. Hey oh. And it's the greatest night of my life. Every week I look forward to it. But mostly because of you girls. Yes. Um taught my taught me good morals, but I realized later in life that my mom was doing the exact opposite of what she taught me. <laughs> well, at least she taught you good morals though. That n not all moms swear. Uh, mine had a mouth, and so do I. I enjoy swearing, though, Amy. I think there's something very rewarding about swearing. Oh, good. I'm so glad you have fun. Uh, mm. Josh says, my parents called the refrigerator icebox. That's so true. Well, Your dad still does what that, about, right? like, if it's yellow, leave it mellow? Oh, yeah. We had that one. That was kind of weird. That yeah. was that was something. It's pretty weird to. Well, it was more of a septic. We had a septic tank, so yeah, you could only mm -hmm. flush the toilet a certain amount of time. So, uh, yeah, they had a little phrase, which well, uh, I think everyone would sign off if I said it. So I think um, I'm not well, gonna just say it. If it's yellow, leave it mellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we won't say what the phrase is if it's brown. <laughs> I just remember hearing that and being like, oh, that was. Kind of weird. That was strange. Yeah. All right. So I'm from UK, now married in Iowa. Many, many words different. I said rubber, but need to remember you guys say eraser. Yes, rubber is a totally different definition than eraser. Um, <laughs> but welcome to the state, Suzanne. I love it. That's funny. My mom hangs clothes in the summer instead of using the dryer. I love that. Um, weird when your socks and underwear are stiff. Shared a beer. Oh, yeah, when you hang them outside to dry, for sure. Um, awesome. Okay. All righty. Here we go. See you guys. I didn't, I didn't gonna, screen we're these. We're carrying on. That's all right. Who would play us in the movie of our lives? So you guys cast your family. Cast yourself, cast your significant other if you have one. Um, I would. We will cast each other. I've always said I would love Who would play Sandra us in Bullock. A movie about our lives. I would want Sandra Bullock to play me. Sandra Bullock. I like Sandra she's Bullock. She's funny, yeah. and she's. I feel like men like her and women like her. And I would, I would be. Um, what's his name from Zoolander? Is that my? Is that my correct answer for tonight? Um. What is his name again? Ben, um, ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. Ben yeah. Stiller would play me. Yes. Um, or Rick Moranis would make his big comeback. Oh. And take on one last role. <laughs> that role would be me. 
Yeah, no. Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy Neutron. No. Um, who would play you in a movie of your life? And you guys cast us right now too. So who would play you, and and who should play us too? Yes. As you watch along. Um, is, let's see. Is Kitty still? I think I don't know. Okay. Let me. I'll yeah. be right back. Who would play us? Uh, Olivia Munn and Ben Stiller is what they're saying about us too. Ooh, Liz. Olivia so, Munn's so pretty. Thank yeah. you. Ben Stiller, I will take that as a compliment. Uh, ben Stiller is so handsome. Thank you. Um, Ryan Reynolds and Scar jo, Dexter's Laboratory. Dan and Roseanne. Awesome, Josh. Uh, and that's the guy that you're like, right? Who would play you guys in a movie of your lives? Drop your answer into the comments. And who would play your kids, too? So let me think of my three kids. we got Barbara, who's eight now. We've got Tommy. Tommy could definitely be played by the young Macaulay Culkin from Home Alone. That Macaulay could totally play my son Tommy. Katie, three years old. Um, we'll go with one of the, uh, <laughs> the only famous three-year-olds I can think of. The Olsen twins would play my three-year-old. And Barbara, my oldest. I think we would get someone older playing her because she definitely acts like she's grown up. Uh, you guys, drop it into the comments. Who would play you all in a movie about your life? Tell us what's up. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, what's up, Justin? Thanks, man. Thank you guys for hanging out with us, too. This is always so much fun for us. Um, who would play you all in a movie about your lives? Keep it coming as I grab the next question from down here. We'll do a couple more questions. She's still up, Luce? Oh, thanks, Rosie. We'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out with us. Um, Nathan says, my daughter would be the little girl from Despicable Me. Adorable, but a little evil. Animated characters, that's a good way to go with the kids, for sure. That's a good good, good way to go. So we'll go with uh, maybe some of the Incredibles kids for yeah, hours. We, we could be the whole Incredibles family. We could be the whole Incredibles family. Although Katie gets really mad when we call her Jack-Jack. She was not like that. No. She wants to be a princess. She's still awake? Nope. She's out in there? She's asleep. Crash out? Awesome. All right. Let me, let me find the next one here. <clears throat> Rebel Wilson. I love Rebel Wilson. She is awesome. These are like couples questions. Some of these are too sexy for what we're doing. Well, yeah. I, well, it's, it, why can't we just wrap it up? We got, we'll do two more questions. Okay. Two more questions. We did that one. Okay, here we go. How would you spend a gift of one hundred thousand dollars? That's a good question. Oof. You get one hundred thousand dollars as a gift. How would you spend it? I mean, it'd be boring, but I'd probably invest in our kids' college funds, and then I. You know, now, right now, what's in the forefront of my mind is the California fires. So I'd probably donate a little chunk of that mm -hmm. to the victims of that. And, and what, would, what would you do for yourself? I would. I'd want to paint no. the house a bit. You know what I would want to do? Would I would want to get a cleaning lady to help my help me in this mess because this is a mess the mess every day all day it stresses me out kevin donald good man says, but i feel wife. like a hundred thousand dollars wouldn't be that much to get me through they, they, that's not enough for a cleaning lady well it I, it would it would take a big chunk out of it um i feel like i would oh yes kevin give it to his wife because a happy wife no, wait. Happy, li happy wife, happy life. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you um, see how quiet he got, guys, when I said that? No, I agree. But what would you do, Tom? Uh, I would want to pay down the house. I think that would be the most comforting thing for me to feel what like. What about the kids' college? Money into that. That's cool. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. We got, the, we got the 529 plans, which you guys should do. So we're putting some money in every month to their, to their college plans. Yep. Uh, Carol says, give it to my adult children. Josh, pay off the house, student you, loans. I've always wanted to open a cat rescue and adopt old cats. Oh, that's really sweet. 
40K to get rid of all debt, 20K on a vacation, 40K on investment. Good job. You got it set. Um, <laughs> no, happy spouse, happy house. Yes. Uh, I get a bathroom that was impenetrable to children. Uh, get my mom a new car and eliminate debt. I love that, Davis. Part would go to Wounded Warrior Project. Part would go to my kiddos. I love it. Uh, bills, pay the mortgage down, donate, and vacation. Definitely a vacation would go into that, for sure. This is like our most popular question of the day. Happy Answers spouse, happy house. In. I never heard of that, but I like it. Happy, happy spouse, spouse, happy house. It, it, it works both ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I, like how, I like how you do it here on Life of Dad. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, these Good are answers, great. guys. Oh, oh, making a mess. This is a fun one. All right. Guess who cleans it up, guys? Um, Guess who cleans it up? How will relationships up? between men and women change in the next 50 years? Ooh. Whoa. How will they? Yes. Or how do they change? How will they change in the next 50 years? How relationships? So we think of technology. Think of technology. The less room for feelings, right? It's more about... You just spit on me, guys. When you said feelings? Technology. Well, I would say relationships are very... So, like, when we started dating, texting wasn't even invented yet. Uh-oh. So, we emailed each other. I got your phone number. I called you. No. You got me. I emailed e no, you. No, you gave me your email But it first. was before texting. Now, all the Emails. kids, when they start dating, they just start texting. Right. Email. I like email. Email was cool. Men and women will both stay the same. No marriages, says Kevin. Ah, Tim. What did Tim say? I would start a beer company called Life of Dad yes, Company. Yes, Timmy. <laughs> Brandon, buy a pizza Love restaurant. That. More screens, less talking. I mean, that's already happening. Only speak via social media, says Mick. I could do em emoji emotions. Is that what they call emojis? Emotion? Emoji? Emotion? G? Emo? What does the G stand for? There is no G in it. Emojis. Emoji. J. J. Do you know how to spell emoji, Mr. Yeah, G-M-O-J-I. Okay, so what is why, a J -I? Did, why did you just say G? Emoji. G. Say you pronounce it. Emoji. Emoji. But, uh, but they're called emojis. <laughs> but what does the G part stand for? G J I. It's yes, M -O. more online dating. You will design AI. You will design your perfect partner. It's going to be a thing. I totally see that. There was, there's all, it's already happening. Yeah. Um, there may not be men and women relationships with these robots coming out, says oh, Denise. Guys. Definitely online dating. I can't compete to a robot, guys. I can't. Tom, you want a robot who's like perfect and doesn't gain weight every month? And, you know, like, I fluctuate. My weight fluctuates. I'm a versatile person. He's too busy right now. I hope that's not the case, too, says Denise. I hope that, too. They lose roles put on by society, says Amber. Okay, these are all good. I think they are good. good. We'll, do, we'll do one more because we're here. Oh, it's along the same lines. Oh, yeah. How were we different 10 years ago? Last question. How were so we that different? One was, that one was into the future. So that this was 2008. Was the, that was when we got married. Right. So how were we different 10 years ago? Texting was just created. The iPhones were not around. We probably both had Blackberries mm -hmm. and all you did on I there. I loved a Blackberry. All, but all you, did liked, on there, all you did on there was email. No, but I liked the keyboard. No, everyone. That was, liked, that, that was all that was available I don't like the email. screen thing. I liked having those buttons to press for the keyboard. How are we different 10 years ago? Well, we did not have any children 10 years ago, so that would have been two years before children for us. Just got married. Um, How were we, we different? different? We, we were funner. A little bit more fun. We talked. He talked to me. He he would talk did about... Did I have feelings? Did I, I, I still fake feelings at that point? He would talk about feelings. Oh, you faked them? I faked feelings? You faked I was feelings still faking feelings to get 10 me? years ago? You yeah. faked feelings to get me. I don't, I'm trying to think. 
Was that was that a time when I was faking feelings? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. I've always been me. You, so you've always you had tell feelings. Me. Yeah. I've always had feelings. Oh, you've always been you. Yeah. How were you guys different ten years ago? Tommy's trying to deflect right now, guys. Deflect. Deflect. Well, and respect ten years ago, we didn't have any kids asshole. either. We had more money. Smartphones weren't a big thing. No, they sure weren't. Um, in oh God. Denise, I would be afraid of that too. Uh, oh my God, Amber was in elementary school, so now I feel crazy old. Um, cared a lot less about living. Justin, well, I'm glad you care about living today. I feel like kids gave us a purpose for sure. Mm -hmm. I was single and getting ready to deploy to Afghanistan. Wow, yes. You are awesome. I I got with the woman I've been with who has two kids prior, taught me responsibility, and taught me you can love a kid that isn't yours. Amen, amen. So, Josh. 100%. Kids are very easy to love. They're good, good, good. They can drive you crazy, but ultimately they're the best. Mm-hmm. Are we going to keep going? Two more questions. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> He's done. He's done, guys. I'm cutting him off. Thank you, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. We'll see you Thursday. Thursday. We're going to be back. We're doing another live show this Two Thursday. days. Two this week. Two times this week. 8 p.m. Pacific, 11 Eastern, Thursday. Thursday night. We'll see, see you, you guys there. Bye. Bye.